Oh, bloody hell, my feet are hurting. <laughs> um, I just dropped. Ah, uh, oh, it's my watch. Okay, um, yeah, so, you know, I actually had a good feeling this morning. Um, mainly because, like, in the UK, um, people are boring. If it's sunny, they'll come out. If it's raining, they won't, um, come out. It's just, I don't know, hermit crabs. I don't know, this mentality of weather is just silly. Anyway, so the thing is, this morning I was like, man, I feel good. The sun's out. Time to go to a car boot sale. And it actually paid off pretty well. Uh, I actually got some really, I, I actually got some pretty good stuff. I went there and was like, eh, I got a couple of things, but towards the end I actually found something pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's get started with uh, my pickups. So first of all, it's just something small, I've got a micro SD adapter thing. It's uh, for a micro and the SD adapter, and I'm going to need that at some point. So that's just uh, like 50p. Uh, but for games, I got a copy of Times Bitters 2 for the Xbox original. I keep thinking I'm going to say Xbox One, so yeah, Time Splitters 2. Um, Grand Theft Auto Vice City on uh, PS2. I bought this just because um, it's in really good condition. Um, it comes with uh, all of the stuff, the map, it's fully complete. And they only wanted 50p for it, so why not? Oh, I just realised. comes with the uh, original receipt as well. Wow, who the hell bought games at Woolworths? What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, the sale date is the 8th of December 2002. Yeah, oh, it looks like someone's written down cheat codes as well. What's this? Full health armor. Okay, that's cool. I'm probably not going to play it anyway, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, it was just a, it was just a nice find. It's got the map, it comes with the manual complete and everything. Disc is in pretty good condition. May as well just pick it up. Um, cool, there's that one. And then next up, I got a big brain. Big Brain Academy for the Wii. Um, I got it again because it was just 50p, may as well. Um, it comes fully complete. The disc. I, should, I, should, I didn't check, did I? Yeah, it's got a little smudge on it, it's fine. Uh, but the disc is in good condition. It came fully complete though. It's got the uh, health and safety manual, the uh, advert for all of the crap, uh, unused Wii points, which unfortunately expired in 2011. Um, what the hell? South African users, please note that the Club Nintendo Stars catalog will be available in South Africa in the second half of 2008. Oh, can't wait for that to happen. Uh, and Big Brain, the uh, frickin' manual as well. I don't know why. It's, uh, oh no, that's fine. Yeah, and it comes in the manual. Um, so that was my third game. And for the fourth one, uh, a game that I already have, uh, Warrior Wear Smooth Moves. Uh, 50p again, why the hell not? It, ca it came fully complete. It came with the VIP stars. I just I checked and I already found it inside the manual. Uh, funnily enough, when I got first got my uh, WarriorWare the day it came out, uh, I actually got two VIP stars inside it, and these are unused. So I mean, it's cool to have another set. But um, yeah, I remember the first time I got this game, it uh, came with two VIP codes in my box. So I was quite happy about that. Uh, and the disc as well. It's in really oh not that good condition actually, but I'm pretty sure this will run. Um, yeah, and I really like WarioWare as well, so if you ever want to play something wacky, get the WarioWare games, because they're actually really good. Uh, but the best find of the day, uh, I got this for 10 quid, oh sorry about that, uh, is this Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Pocket, uh, I've never actually owned a Game Boy Pocket, actually let me just take this out. Um, so this is actually my first time owning one, I know it's like 20, what, 23 years later I'm finally have a Game Boy Pocket. So yeah, there's that. Uh, but for... Uh, at first, the person selling it, she wanted 20. She actually had a box and it was set, it said on the side, uh, I want 20 for this uh, Game Boy Pocket with all these games. And I didn't even, I just said, you want a tenner for it? And she said, yeah. So I doubt she, I think she was trying to look, make money on it, but in the end she didn't really care as long as she sold it. So for a tenner, um, you know, half off, that's, to me, I think I made a really good, uh, I got a good, pretty good find on it. So yeah, I got the, for £10, I got this Game Boy Pocket, and the games that came with it, actually some really good games as well. Uh, I'll save the best or last. So the first one I've got is Star Wars. Um, another cool thing about all these games, as you'll see as they come up, they're all in good condition. None of them are boxed, but some of them have the uh, the Game Boy protection case. Uh, but they don't have the part 
at the top where the heat has gone to them and it's all uh, worn out or I mean it's not faded stickers or anything so yeah the first one is Star Wars uh, I'm interested in this because I mean it's published by Capcom so that's uh, caught my interest it also says the the code on the side as well is uh, DMG WS USA so this may be American but I don't see ESRB rating on there but um, it's most likely an American her copy uh, I got Desert Strike Wave Race, uh, one of my fir first games I owned for the Game Boy back in the day. Um, I'd probably take these out of the cases just to make it a bit easier to see. All these ones here are coming cases. Um, Terminator 2. Sea uh, Quest. Space Invaders. And Terminator 2. Um, this one though is the arcade game. And I actually had this uh, game when I was younger. Um, it's one of the few games I actually did own on the Game Boy at the time. Um, I never got past the first stage. And I probably won't do now. But it's actually not that good of a game anyway. Uh, but the best, the best one that I got is uh, Metroid 2 The Return of Samus. And... Um, this pretty much made up for the entire bunch because Metroid is a really awesome game uh, or the Metroid series I should say they're all really good and having this with the Game Boy Pocket is definitely a really good find that um, I think paid off uh, I mean I didn't mind the other games I bought but finding a Game Boy Pocket with Metroid 2 is and all the other games as well is nice is uh, definitely uh, the, the big find that of, the, of the day actually give us a quick go. I've tested all of the games and they do work. Um, I'm, the Game Boy Pocket itself works but there's a small, as you can see it's slightly, oh, it's, a bit loud. it's slightly uh, got some sort of a screen problem there but they all work generally fine but yeah. Metroid 2 cannot go wrong with this game which still runs surprisingly well. Sorry for this very archaic way of recording but yeah, just press start. Yeah. This game runs amazingly well as well. I forget how good this game used to be. I mean, just it, it it's got such a nice frame rate, and in general, just the game feels good to play. Yeah, so there's that. That was uh. Overall, I think I got some pretty good stuff. Uh, the the games themselves, they weren't expensive. Uh, and finding a Game Boy Pocket with all of these games was, uh, as I said, it was the highlight. It was really uh, awesome to find. Um, I'm glad that the woman as well was willing to just let me have it all for a ten or so. Yeah, I think it was good overall. Um, and I've actually recently found that there's a car boot uh, sale place near me on Saturdays as well. So I think I may be able to find a couple more stuff um, more often when I'm out. So. I'm going to be going to ones on Saturdays and Sundays now and hopefully I'll be able to make more of these videos because in all honesty I'm going to one car boot sale which is a bit on the small side but it's never really been that much of a letdown um, so yeah I will be hopefully making more of these thanks for watching